Okay, that's how we're going to start the video right there. We're not supposed to two-piece. Make it a three-piece. Today's video, we're going to go dive straight into it. You guys are using me, seeing me, watching me using the Groza. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This gun is absolutely amazing. It is a beast. It is like a FR and a QBZ had a baby. Like, you can tell from the gameplay right now, absolutely shredding, absolutely dominating. Going to kill this guy here, too. Turn around. Just want to kill this guy. Turn back around. Kill that guy. Going to stim shot. Five bullets left. No pro Oh, okay. It was a problem a little bit. <laughs> but we're back with a brand new video. Today, we're going to be discussing can the Groza become in the pro player meta, in the Call of Duty meta. Now, this gun is honestly a freaking beast. I've maxed it out about a day ago. And I realized how good this gun actually is. Like, the potential for this gun is actually phenomenal. Like I said, this gun is like the FR, but with a QBZ mixed in between. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. Now, there's something you have to, I guess, keep in mind. This gun is a DLC gun. So, the gun is very good. But at the end of the day, it is a DLC gun. So, on top of it being just amazing, you got to remember that part, right? Like, can this gun enter the pro player meta? Because there's always that argument, you know, well, are DLC guns allowed? Are they automatically banned? Are they GA'd? Um, do pros even play with DLC guns? And the answer is yes, we actually do. And they're usually not GA'd right off the bat unless they are absolutely, like, insane. Which, the MAC-10 and the Groza are really, really good guns. They are insane, but they're not, like, borderline, like, overpowered. You know, can't be killed by nobody. You're not even got them, so, because these guns are so amazing. Even though this gun is phenomenal, I can tell you, you can tell from the gameplay. I'm absolutely shredding them, hitting really good shots. Once you get some attachments on this bad boy, um, you start to notice the recoil control on this gun is actually not that bad at all. It shoots very straight, and by very straight, as you can tell from the gameplay, I mean very straight. <laughs> DMU. There's a uh, stim shotter for no reason there. It's gonna come up here. Beam him. And it feels so easy. This gun's fire rate is absurd. It has a very, very fast fire rate. And that's why I was kind of, you know, compare it a little bit to the FR. The fire rate is quite insane. Dude, I feel like. Oh my god. Like, this gun, guys. If you're enjoying it, like, this gun is just so fun to use. Now, the more I use it, the more I realize, like, dude, this gun can actually be in the pro player meta without a doubt. Like, this gun is actually really good. I could definitely see it joining the pro player meta. Um, there's definitely a couple of factors involved, whether it becomes in the meta or not. Um, I think number one is, will pro players allow it? Two is, can it compete with the Krig and the AK? And, like, yeah, the Krig and the AK-47, which I think... One, pro players are allowing this gun unless it becomes actually really broken and completely destroys the meta. And two, I think this gun can compete with the Krig and the AK without a doubt. It's like a it's like a hybrid. It's like between a Krig and an AK. It kills very fast. It can shoot pretty damn straight. I mean, it's I, it might be a better version of an AK-47. Basically, if you don't have it unlocked as an actual gun, well, you can't use it. So that is very important and to know because... How are you going to use a gun in a meta that not everyone can use? It doesn't really make as much sense as it has in the past. I think usually DLC guns are locked. I don't know if in custom lobby, they'll just unlock it for everyone to use. I don't really necessarily how and understand how it's going to work. But that's just something we all have to understand. That is a big thing, actually. There's actually a lot of people near me. Pop the counter. Time to go rogue. Oh, gosh, on the back. I don't know who you're trying to pinch, brother, but you're not pinching me. This game's actually skipping. You probably can tell in the gameplay itself that it's skipping. It's giving, like, little skips. I do apologize for that. It's not me or me recording. It's the, it's the game itself and the lobby itself. Oh, of course. I got a freaking war machine out there piecing them. Got you. Got you. Got you. And you can see the potential from the gun right there how good this gun can actually be so if ars give this gun a try like i myself might have to do it but if ars just give this gun a try oh my god oh he has a he has a burst ah damn ksb the bursts are op but if i myself seriously gave this gun a try and what used it and try to make it part of the meta i think pro players would make a shift like i personally really feel like this is actually a really good gun 
and I'm not just bullshitting you guys. Like, I think this gun could make a shift into the meta and actually become a part of the pro player meta. But it's not only up to me as a player. I think a lot of ARs would have to realize that and start using them themselves. This guy is trying to crouch shot. Let's watch this in reverse. Crouch, 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 crouch. <laughs> And I feel like this gun, like, I don't know. Like I said, I would have to use it against pros and really give it a feel in the meta. I feel like you can say a gun's good or, like, really good. And, yeah, it might be maybe in a casual world. But if you use it against other pro players when they're hitting every shot, when they're using the best of the best guns, that's when you really test how good a gun can be in a meta. If I use this gun versus AK-47s or Krigs and AK-74Us and I'm still killing them and frying them, then you know this gun can easily be a part of the meta. I really feel like it can and it should be, but until like I use it, that will really confirm it. I dislike SVMM. It's really it's made casual play. It's turned it for the worse because really what's going on here is that people are like, all right, these guys are using all these broken guns, right? Like these guns are all using these strong ass guns. So now me. I'm just, for in order for me to compete, I need to use something that's broken, right? Like, I need to use one of the best guns. If I try to have fun with some mediocre gun, well, there's a chance I'm probably going to get smoked. Dude, I almost killed that guy. Like, this thing is incredible. But it's so frustrating because SPMM has turned, like, most casual players. It's, it's made it worse. Simple as that. Dude, that wasn't... No, I shot too early. That would have been that was a nice clip, but it could have been better. Beam you. Nice. Dude, this guy's just hugging a wall waiting to attack. I get it, bro. We're playing a GB right now. You're trying to get your pro points. Like you have to go super sweaty. Guy's camping again. That was the same guy. Now we're chasing some ghosts. I'm gonna challenge because I don't give a damn. Pepsi bottle. Coca-Cola glass. That's an OG one. If you if you know, you know. But Pepsi bottle, Coca-Cola glass. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't give a. I don't give a. I don't give a. I don't give a. That punch didn't hit. That punch didn't hit. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. Ah, that's a GG. Oh my God! Kill him. He's in front of you. But now. For one of the best parts of the video, we're going to go over the Gross Us class setup because it's very gross. So we are running Gunfighter. Um, I feel like Gunfighter is really good on this class. It's really good on this specific AR. So I would recommend to use it. So for the optic, we're running micro, but you can run mill stop, whatever you like. For the muzzle, we're going to run the KGB Eliminator. Now, this has a very high vertical recoil control. So we kind of want to minimize that. I don't know if you saw me when I was shooting, but it shoots very straight with these attachments. For the barrel, we're just running straight uh gru i know it's like well you could run the reinforced listen guys the, the with this one you already have 47 meters of damage range for the five bullet kill yes there's certain gunfights on certain maps that maybe you will hit 50 55 max 60 but probably not so yes there's chances there's just like times where reinforced will be a little bit better but like the the, the difference for those one in 20 gunfights is just not really worth it, in my opinion, especially you only get 15% more bullet velocity. It's such a small increase and it, it barely makes a difference. And the crazy thing is this is the only gun, especially AR, that has a barrel that has no cons and, and, the, and the, the pluses are actually really good. It gives you damage range and bullet velocity. So I personally think this barrel is amazing. Now, if you think you're lacking damage or maybe you want to kill a little bit faster, like I said, it won't make a difference much. You can run reinforced, but obviously you have cons, less movement speed, less aim walking movement speed, and those things are good in general. So you definitely want those. For the body, we got the steady and laser. We got the spetnaz grip, but you could run the spetnaz speed grip if you want to be a little faster. The thing is, it's a little bit harder to control the recoil with this one. But like I said, controlling your recoil on this gun is actually very easy no matter what. As soon as you, it's, as long as you have some recoil attachments we got the 40 round Jura basic drum we got the elastic wrap and we got the kgb pad baby as always guys this has been your boy apathy i hope you enjoyed today's video this is my first time making a class setup on the grossa it's been um it's been out for a little bit but i decided to finally hit you guys with an amazing class setup because this gun is actually freaking crazy so you guys gotta try the class you guys gotta try out the gun once you'll lock it try it trust me you'll love it hope you have a wonderful day and i'll catch you next video like comment and subscribe Peace.